Hi friends, today we're talking about how talent works, the mechanics of talent, and how you can use it to get good at just about anything. Our understanding of the fundamentals of talent has progressed radically over the course of the last couple of decades. Arguably the top three books on the topic are Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers, which is going to be prescribed reading for all humanity when I become king of the world. The second one is Talent is Overrated by Jeff Colvin. And the third by Michael Coyle is The Talent Code. I strongly recommend all three. Now, if you read these books together, there is an essential formula to talent. I think this formula is one of the most important discoveries of the last hundred years for humanity. But we're not talking about it and we're not sharing it. I've condensed it down and I'd like to share it with you here today. And it's no mystery. This is how talent works. It is always this way and it never changes. Easy to understand, more difficult to implement. The code is talent equals yearning plus input plus deliberate practice sustained over time. Now let's break those down and see what each of them represent. Talent equals yearning. In other words, if you don't want to, if you don't love a thing, if you're not emotionally invested in it, you're only going to get so far in developing your talent. You need that moment of ignition. That's why inspiration and motivation play such a big part in human learning. Once the yearning is there, we can progress on to the next thing. And the next thing is input. With all the yearning in the world, with all the desire to be good at something, if you don't have specific knowledge and specific how-to ideas, you can only get so far. Your yearning will fizzle and fade. Now, input comes in two forms, and one is more powerful than the other. The first one, and it's still good, is self-gleaned input. In other words, anything that you read about a topic. The second and more effective form of input is personal coaching. Someone who knows better than you do, or knows you better than you do, showing you how step by step. So, talent equals yearning plus input plus deliberate practice. Now, deliberate practice is different to generic practice. You, uh, you've probably heard the equation that it takes 10,000 hours to become masterful at something. Well, it's true, but now here's the key differentiator. You can spend 10 years or 10,000 hours playing golf and never get any better. In fact, you can actually get slightly worse. Here's what's missing. A person who goes and plays golf every Saturday is doing practice. But a person who puts the ball into the bunker and spends an hour, two hours, three hours just learning how to get a ball out of a bunker, that person is doing deliberate practice. Deliberate practice is the art of breaking a thing down into chunks and getting good at each chunk in turn. That's why most people fear public speaking and never get good at it. The only time they ever get to do it is real, live, in front of an audience. They get traumatized and they never try again. When I coach public speaking, I break it down into chunks. I let people do exercises that focus on body language, and only body language, nothing else, until they're good at that. And then exercises that focus on vocal rhythms and nothing else until they get good at that, and so on and so forth. Now that's deliberate practice. So what have we got? Talent equals yearning, the desire, plus input, reading and coaching, plus deliberate practice, which is hard. You break it down into chunks, sustained over time. Now often we look at that 10,000 hour requirement and it's daunting. Folks, I'd like you to remember this. 10,000 hours can make you world class at something. 3,000 hours can make you pretty darn good. 3,000 hours, we're talking about three years of intense, focused practice. That's not so bad. That's achievable. And of course, this formula applies to absolutely everything. You can use it to learn to play an instrument. You can use it to learn a language. You can use it to learn sales techniques, leadership techniques, public speaking, certain patterns of thinking. Have you ever said that you're not creative? Well, how about putting in your 10,000 hours? And that's the formula for talent. I believe it is the most important equation we've discovered in the last century, and I want us to start teaching it. Let's spread the word. I'm Douglas Kruger. Follow me on Twitter using at Douglas Kruger. Check out more of my videos and my tweets and blogs and articles and so on at www.douglaskruger.co.za.